sorry everyone when my last video got cut off because I hit the stop recording button instead of anything else. So I basically conceded that game right after I finished it. And I was saying that Snarecaster is not a exceptional card, but I don't really know what else there is. Like in Theros block there are I can't think playing more spells would be where I want to be. I could play Bronze Sable. It's like a worse snap snare caster. Uh, or I could just play Hopeful Eidolons instead. Which, meh, I don't think is that good. Maybe I should play Chosen by Heliod. It saves my guys from uh, Anger of the Gods. Putting it just making it a 4 power creature, 4 toughness creature. Uh, I want to try that actually. I think Ordeal is still the best card for me, but I'm going to take out a couple snare casters. Actually, all my snare casters. I don't want them in my deck anymore. And put in some God wi God's Willings in the main board. I can try the Emissary in the sideboard, sure. There are no real good white sideboard cards, which is probably why. I might pursue other decks. This one's not really working out right now. I I knew Anger of the Guards was a card, but I didn't think I would just be like completely cold to it. Uh, but I'll keep playing some games and seeing how it fares. So let me go ahead and join a two-player. This might be against someone I've already played against, but I think that's fine just for practice sake. Uh, Mono White Hero. It was the same guy I played last game the uh, red green deck. Uh, the danger of playing two mans, honestly. You just play against the same person over and over again. Sometimes it's a danger, sometimes it's a blessing. Cause sometimes someone wants one deck to work really, really well and they just you crush them over and over again. I don't want to mulligan the sand because it has two one drops in it, but I have no action, so I'm gonna have to. I think the sand's fine. This is our snare caster. Actually, I still think I'd prefer it over snare ca uh, caster. Snarecaster doesn't really do anything. If I draw a one drop, my hand becomes pretty good. Uh, Elspeth is not quite a one drop. He could be playing this just to risk Gryland. Which is honestly fine. Uh, I'm not going to drop my Fabled Hero here, because I don't want it to get blown out. It's my only creature. And he's not doing anything, so... I could play Favorite Hoplite. Uh, if I play Chosen by Heliod, he's just gonna bolt it. I'm just gonna attack for one and play my hero. And then if he tries to anger the gods, I'm gonna use God's Willing to protect it. Yeah, God's Willing's a pretty good card. Actually, may shore up a lot of the weaknesses I was experiencing previously. He does. He can like uh, use this untap and then anger the gods if he draws a land, and that would suck a lot. But I think this is my only shot. I might want this Heliod. Let's see. My devotion's pretty small right now. Yeah, I think I want this Heliod. I want to make creatures. Please don't draw land. Ugh, okay. It's probably fair. Oh, he doesn't have Anger of the Gods. Ooh, doesn't have Anger of the Gods. So I could play Heliod and give my creatures indestructibility. I could pump my Fabled Hero so he doesn't die to Anger of the Gods or Lightning Strike. I think that's my play here. That even gives me, what, four mana to use this and play Heliod? Right? Yep. Sweet. So it's even a 5 6 creature. And all my guys have Vigilance. He takes eight. Now, this is pretty sweet, man. I'm so glad these aren't Leon and Snarecasters. <laughs> Maybe I underrated this card. Well, it's very good against Anger of the Gods. Maybe I overestimated the my abilities that game because I he did get mana screw on two lands for like four turns in a row, 
which allowed me to draw a bunch of cards. Uh, against his deck, no idea what I want to be drawing here. Babel Hero still seems like my best card. Uh, probably want these Divine Verdicts, actually. Probably should have boarded them in the last game. Can take out the Phalanx Leaders. I don't really want to overcommit, but I need to keep him like some creatures. Spear seems fine for his active. Um, yeah, I want to take out the Phalanx Leaders. Um, maybe put in Hopeful Eidolon? Not sure. I think it, I don't think that the games will come down to me like racing him. I think it'll just be him going over top of me. But maybe I can hope fly along like a wings to right or something. And I think this is fine. Maybe I Yeah, let's try this. I don't want to take all this buff because her her like wrath for big creatures is very good against him. At least playing red green Polychronos. Even drew my Phalanx leader. The sand's not actually that good against this deck, because he can one for one me or anger of the gods, and I'm don't really have any enchantments to make this good for me. Mm, the ordeal's pretty good here. It puts my guy out of bolt range, and he can't block with his Sylvan carry. You did. It also lets me rely on Phalanx Leader and Fabled Hero later. And pull a Kratos. Okay. I think I'll just play Spear and Swing. Makes my guy 6-5, five, or 5-6, five, and I gain 10 life. And now he's going to have to feed me creatures every turn for this giant favor top white. And that's why the ordeal is absurd. <laughs> I didn't even really play anything that game, it's just favorite top light. Um what's he gonna do here? Deal one damage to my guy, grow it by one, so it's a six six against a five six of one damage on it. So if I put uh chosen by Hilliot on it, one it can't even be dealt damage this turn. And I'm not really going to play anything else. Maybe draw land, hopefully. A Nykthos would be pretty good. Uh, Heliod's fine. Assuming I draw the Nykthos at some point. I'm not afraid of swinging here, because uh, even if he just wants to race with Polychronos, I gain... Third, uh, 10 life earlier off the ordeal. This is the largest top light I've ever assembled. Stormbreath Dragon. I have no way of dealing with that card. Other than trying to swarm it. I guess I'm just going to play Soldier and Phalanx Leader here, since I don't have any way to play around Anger of the Gods and kill him. The only way I have to deal with Stormwrath Dragon is Elspeth. Elspeth's minus two or whatever it is. Magma Jet, my Phalanx Leader. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. I think it's Phalanx. 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 Yeah. He needs another dragon though, or else he's not really able to attack with a storm breath. If I draw Nykthos, things will get pretty real, because I can play Heliod and start pumping out soldiers. Or not soldiers, clerics. And then he has to draw anger before it, that races uh, him alone. Can't really attack. Mm, 
Wounds and Nagos would be fine for him. He could monstrosity his Storm Breath Dragon, try to kill me faster. Another favorite hoplite. It's fine. I'm I'm kinda torn between playing around Anger of the Gods and playing into Phalanx Leader. I think I just don't play any more creatures because I can't really overwhelm him right now. Like, even if I play Phalanx Leader and draw an ordeal, I can ordeal a Phalanx Leader and get a bunch of big creatures, but I still really can't swarm over this Polokranos. If he attacks with Polokranos, I'm going to double block it. This favorite hoplite. I'll trade this favorite hoplite for a... Uh, Uh, Polycranos. Yep, another Storm Breath. God's Willing. That's pretty good. Mm, wish it was a little better, though. Because like, if I pro-red it, I just kill a Sylvan Garita, then he leaves back an extra Storm Breath Dragon. So I kind of need another God's Willing. <laughs> So I guess I'll play just Phalanx Leader, or Fable Hero, past turn. I really want to draw Nykthos and Elspeth pretty much in that order, so I can play Nykthos and then Elspeth three of his creatures away in exchange for my Hoplite. What is this? Synagos? Yeah. Synagos. I'm not really afraid of Satyrs. I'm kind of afraid of uh, mana, actually. There's Nykthos. How much mana does this make right now? So it makes... I tap three to make three, four, five, six, seven mana. So I could play Helios and my Phalanx Leader. Yeah, so it puts me with two cards in hand. So I can untap and God's willing my something or another. Probably my Fabled Hero. So Monstrosity 3, this put set out a 7-7. Seven, seven. What does this do? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You've already played a Mountain, so... You can't Monstrosity the second Storm Breath Dragon. So this puts me at 7, puts me at 10, minus 2 is 8. Okay, I can live with that. It means I'm dead next turn. Puts a Satyr into play. If I draw a God's Willing or an Elspeth, I think I can win. Maybe not Elspeth. Definitely God's Willing. Uh, so let me upkeep, stop on my turn. Cast God's Willing on my Hoplite for uh, red. And look for another one. That's an ordeal. I don't think that's going to do anything. If I ordeal my Fabled Hero, I get nothing out of it, really. Could ordeal my Phalanx Leader, but he would just. Uh, Block here, block, 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 block. So I need a, one of the cards previously discussed. Nick those is not one of them. I'm dead to his dragons, unfortunately. So yeah, that was a good game. It was closer than I thought it would be. I'll just make some creatures.
Everything having vigilance is pretty sweet. Except for Heliod, I guess, apparently. Dragon Box Heliod. Oh, he didn't die. Okay. <laughs> Continues to impress. I probably actually just need it against him. I uh, don't really want to play Phalanx Leader anyway. Uh, Heliod's Emissary actually seems pretty good in this matchup too. It's like I can tap one of his guys. Divine Verdict is embarrassingly poor against the Dragon, but don't really have anything else. I don't have anything that can deal with his uh, Polycranos either. So I think that's fine. The one thing I do lose out is I lose out on the white mana symbols by boarding out on my Phalanx Leaders. run this. Like, I could play same thing I did last game, favorite hoplite, hope to draw planes, play a ordeal. I think that's going to be my best kind of draw. Even if I don't draw land, I have a soldier of the pantheon I can play. Upkeep. I don't want to stop on my upkeep anymore. I wouldn't fault anyone for mulliganing this, but I think it's a defensible keep. There's the planes. Has <laughs> mm, a lot of card selection this game. Last game he put it on bottom, or last turn I mean. And this turn he's putting it also on bottom. Also on bottom. So I'm gonna play soldier and leave open God's willing. Swing for a four with this hoplite. And if he tries to do anything to my soldier, I'll protect it. Maybe I won't protect it. I think this might be just better as unblockable for a turn. The touch scorpion. Mm, kind of annoying. If I'd chosen this guy, he doesn't even live through uh, Anger of the Gods. I want to play Fabled Hero, but I don't want to get blown out by Anger. Hmm. Such Scorpion's a pretty good card against me. <laughs> I'll attack with my soldier. I don't think he'll block it. And if he does, it's fine. No. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to lightning strike it there. I'm just going to play spear. I think Spears Spears a way safer play than the uh, Fabled Hero. Because Fabled Hero does not live through Anger of the Gods and lets him kill two of my creatures. Whereas Spear will protect... Actually, just pump my creatures. Doesn't really protect anything. Okay, he just Lightning Strikes my Soldier post-combat. I think he was playing around eight, uh, God's Willing, but I don't think I would God's Willing my Soldier. I have a couple better things to protect. Hmm... Such scorpions getting out of hand. I think I'll just play my Fable Hero and pass. He already used his removal on one of my other creatures, so if he wants to one for one a Fable Hero, I think I can live with that. Yep. I can't afford to wait to draw land. It's not that feasible. Storm Breath Dragon. Goodness gracious. Card is a monstrosity. If I draw Nick those next turn, how much mana do I make out of it? Make two mana out of it? So it puts me at five total. That's not enough to bestow my Heliod's emissary. 
He didn't attack. It seems strange. I guess I could just kill him. Like, theoretically. Um, if he attacked with the Storm of the Dragon, I could have just... Uh, put this... Put the Heliod chosen... Chosen a Heliod on my Hoplite to prevent damage to it and attacked. Even if he blocks the Scorpion, I get the... My creature doesn't die. Didn't draw land. That's what I was going for. I just wanted to cycle this card. Making a Fable Hero large is also not that insignificant. I'm not sure what he's afraid of. D like, d he's dead to double, double God's Willing anyway. Upkeep Monstrosity. Okay. Or draw step. Does do a lot of damage. Um, swinging with both doesn't really do anything. He just blocks with the Sedge Scorpion on this and the Stormwind Dragon on this. So I'd have to God's willing to save my Fabled here, and I don't want to do that. I think I just play Heliod's Emissary, honestly. That taps the Scorpion and lets me do something next turn. Also, it doesn't die to Anger of the Gods because I have this Spear. This card might be actually pretty good on the sideboard against this kind of deck. Red, green, throw a bunch of Sed Sed Scorpions in the way. Sedge Scorpion. Polocranus. Senegus. Okay. It was actually a pretty good draw. The planes. Because now I can play Heliod and all my creatures have Vigilance. Mm, let's see. If I swing into his team, tap his Scorpion, he can block my uh, Emissary and my Chosen and take 5. And then I can favorite hop, I can, uh, God's willing, whatever I don't want to die. And the next turn I can attack with Heliod. So yeah. Oop. Okay. <laughs> so he takes five, and then I'm gonna save my Heliod's emissary. And give it pro red. Elspeth? I don't think I can afford to keep. I mean I probably can. It's probably very good if I don't just like draw the card I need to kill him next turn. It kills like a majority of my board. <laughs> But it makes a ton of creature tokens. Which is what I want right now. I uh, put a card on the bottom. With that temple. So I think I tap his guys again. Or tap his Sedge Scorpion again and swing in. And have my Emissary die. Because he has to have a trick or else I'm going to kill him, I believe. Tap the scorpion. Yep, okay, sweet. One at two man. Excellent. Yeah, so I actually really enjoy the exclusion of the snare casters. It's very good. The snare casters are not that great, and God's Willing might be the best card in my deck. Like, I don't know how good Chosen of Heliod is. I might just want to like take out a Chosen of Heliod and play God's Willing instead. I think I accidentally took out something else. I have to figure out what I just took out. So I'll just reload the deck. My mouse has this buggy thing where I... Uh, it just double clicks sometimes at random. Sometimes at random. Which is kind of annoying. Apparently I only saved a 59 card deck. Well then. It only has one chosen by Heliod, four favorite hoplites, four leaders, four riders, four heroes, three Heliods, two champions, 23 lands. Uh, not sure what got removed. Hmm. Guess I'll just play another chosen by Heliod. So I'm playing four God's Willing main deck and two chosens, along with two ordeals. That's kind of deep. That's fine, though. I could just play a one of Emissary instead of a Chosen. 
but it doesn't really help my two drop problem. You can play one of I Eidolon, but I'll just hold off for now. Um, Dauntless Esk Onslaught is kind of cute, but not really that good. Let's see. Any one ofs? Any sweet one ofs I could play? Last Breath. What does Last Breath get? It doesn't kill Sylvan Carry, it because it's hexproof. It kills uh, posing little creatures, which I'm pretty much going over the top of anyway. Yeah. Might be good if I can figure out what to use it on. Uh, there's not a lot of white cards in this set for me. I guess I'll just put this in the sideboard anyway. Or maybe another Heliod's Embassy. I really liked that card against that green deck. Okay, we're gonna save that. I'll play one more and then call it a day. I hope I'm gonna wait a little bit before I jump into a queue again because I don't want to play against that uh, Jovol guy again just for consistency's sake. And I'll see you on a bit.